Hey there, everyone. Today we're going to delve into a topic that many of you might have been searching for. How to stop that whooshing sound in your ear. If you've ever dealt with this annoying symptom, you know how frustrating it can be. But don't worry, there are ways to manage it, and today we're going to walk you through them, step by step. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! Step 1. Identify the cause. The first thing you want to do is identify the underlying cause. This whooshing sound, medically known as tinnitus, can have various root causes such as hearing loss, earwax blockage, or even high blood pressure. So, the first step is to consult a healthcare provider for a proper diagnosis. A study from the American Academy of Audiology emphasized the importance of diagnosing tinnitus to tailor treatment correctly. Step 2. Rule out simple causes. Sometimes, the whooshing sound in your ear can be as simple as impacted earwax. According to the Mayo Clinic, removing earwax can often alleviate tinnitus. You can use over-the-counter ear drops to soften the wax. Then, use a towel soaked in warm water to gently clean your ear. Step 3. Use noise masking devices. If the cause of your whooshing sound isn't as straightforward, another strategy you might consider is a noise masking device. You might use something as simple as a white noise machine at night, or even earplugs designed to produce soothing sounds. The Journal of the American Medical Association reported that sound therapy can be effective for some tinnitus sufferers. Step 4. Keep a tinnitus journal. The whooshing sound in your ear may not always be constant. It could fluctuate throughout the day. Take note of when it occurs, what you're doing, and what you've eaten. This could help your healthcare provider pinpoint possible triggers. Step 5. Consider environmental factors. Keep the air in your home moist with a humidifier. Sometimes, dry air can irritate your ear canal, leading to tinnitus symptoms. Researchers from the University of Maryland Medical Center found that a humid environment can sometimes alleviate symptoms. Step 6. Seek professional treatment. Sometimes tinnitus is a symptom of an underlying health issue like high blood pressure. According to the American Heart Association, effectively treating these underlying causes can alleviate tinnitus. Step 7. Lifestyle changes. Last but not least, consider making lifestyle changes like reducing caffeine and salt intake. The British Tinnitus Association cites that these can sometimes aggravate tinnitus symptoms. So, there you have it. A step-by-step -step guide on how to stop that whooshing sound in your ear. As always, consult with a healthcare provider for a tailored treatment plan that's appropriate for you. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave a comment below.